we are going to find a random golfer who is in desperate need of a golf makeover. We're gonna take them to get full bag fitting. They are gonna think they're gonna get a free driver out of the deal, but in reality, they're getting everything. Whew. It's a golf ambush makeover. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secretly like walk by bags to see if they meet the criteria. And the criteria would be super old equipment. Obviously, like they bought one set of club in their life and they've used it for many, many years. They, if they don't fit in that category and it, their bag has to be kind of tore up, like, you know, they can't have a brand new vessel bag. They're out. This guy has a brand new tailor-made bag. Hmm. He might need a swing makeover, not a club makeover. That's a nice bag. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Can I ask you some? You from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, Matt. John. Double glove, man. I yeah, love it. Yeah, I love it. Hey, John. Thanks so much. Mr. Short Game. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Aaron. Aaron. Nice to meet you, You man. too, man. And what? we want to know what clubs you're playing. What do you, what do you got here? Got a Nike Vapor driver. Look at that. How long have you had this guy? A couple years. I got an M5 five wood. Oh, M4 that's pretty good. Wood. Okay. And then. So you go, you go Nike, then TaylorMade. Yeah. But and I like I that. Got, Mizuno Pro High Fly 3. Okay, these are nice clubs, like a hybrid guy. Yeah, I love it. Can I ask you some questions about your clubs? Yeah, most definitely. Some old irons, got them from uh, eBay and some garage sales. Figured I'd. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, just been knocking it out. You got Nothing the old uh, Golden Bears? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, how oh, old yeah. are those? No idea. So I got the Ping Eye Blades. Yeah. I kind of pieced them together. Okay, have you ever been fit? No, that's on my bucket list this year. Yeah. That was my New Year's resolution <laughs> is to get fit for club. Have you ever been stack? fit? No. Never been fit? No. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you take lessons? No. No lessons? No. No fitting, no lessons? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. Just practice. Just watch my you. videos. Yeah, I do. I'll help you out. Short game. <laughs> How long you been golfing? Probably about six months. Really? Not that long? Mm -mm. So you're newer, okay. Yep. What got you into the game? Just wanted to get out, love it, love watching on TV. Yeah. It's a good thing. And is this, this is a standard length driver? Yes. And you're how tall? 6'9". Six 6'9". Nine. Six nine. So you need like something custom yeah, I, I, for you, I right? Yeah, I need a lot of, lot of custom stuff. So. All right. I'll let you get back Thanks at it. Thanks a lot. It was you great too, to John. meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, take care. All right. That's all we need to know. Appreciate it, man. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Good luck I, with your I game. Love your videos, man. They're Thank good. you. Good stuff. Tall, tall 6'9". So he's one foot taller than me. <laughs> I don't think we found the perfect makeover candidate here today. So we're gonna come back on a weekend when this place is rocking and rolling. No. All right, we talked to a lot of people out here today and we just haven't found the perfect candidate yet. So, been here a few hours. I think we're gonna have to come back for like round three. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. I thought this would be easier. Yeah, he's got a pretty good set there. Great bag, great gear. Brand new bag, brand new bag, it's out. He's got a PXG head cover, so he's got newer stuff anyways. All right, I think we're round four now. We're, we're still in search of the right person. We're at Fox Creek Driving Range, just down the road from the other place. It's full today. We're gonna find someone. Hi. Matt. Jamie. Jamie, good to meet I you. I your stuff, man. Oh, well, thanks. What, what kind of gear are you playing with? What do you got here? I, do, I hit the Ping G400s. Oh, yeah. When did you get those? Two years ago. Okay. Okay. You like them? Yeah, I do. All right. Yeah, it's just a mixed. It's like an old set of AP1s. Yeah. Oh, those are classics. Like an old ass 18 Mizuno. Mizuno. Stole this from my brother. Oh, the yeah, the X Hot. Yeah. It's whippy as old hell, but it works. Yeah. Maverick. That's one of the best clubs yeah, ever made, right I there. I love it. Great. What's your handicap? I probably shoot in the mid 90s. Mid 90s. Okay, so you're pretty good. I probably play like. 
once every couple of months. Oh, that's it, huh? Okay. Swing away. I'm trying to get some practice. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, man. All right, good to meet you, Jamie. Good to meet you, bud. Take care. See you, Matt. My man's got an old setup over here. Uh, got a couple over here. Hey, how you doing? I'm Matt. Doing good. Nice to meet you, Matt. Yeah, what's your name? Chad. Chad. Can I talk to you about your clubs over here? Absolutely. What do you What do you got? Old Titleist DCIs? Gosh, what like year are those? I think uh, 90, somewhere in 98, 2000, something like that. Man, okay. This is a, an Adams Speed Lounge. I actually like the driver a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I gave it to a family member, so we got some Oh, so you, they took one off the, t the, oh, yeah. the crown of the... More than one. You can see multiple. That ones. wasn't you? No, that was not me. <laughs> how long have you been golfing? That's the setup. Uh, I learned how to play golf when my dad pretty much taught me. Yeah? Uh, yeah, he would grip a golf club like this. Just... Like a baseball bat. Yeah, like a baseball bat. So it was very kind of old-fashioned. I kind of, I guess when I was about 13, it was right before high school, I was around bogey golf. Uh-huh. And so my dad was like, hey, why don't you think about trying to play in high school and that? Well, yeah, I would say the first half of this year I played, uh, the most I played in probably 10 years because I was without a job. <laughs> oh, really? But, yeah. What happened? Um, Kind of a, I would say the short version would be, February of last year, I uh, I left my job. No different transition like anybody else would do. Yeah. I'm getting another job within two or three months. At the time, we had two kids. Um, then a week after that, we found out we were pregnant. Oh, wow. Yeah, so not exactly the most ideal situation. But it didn't change anything from uh, the standpoint of, like, timeline of getting another job. Yeah. And then... In May, so a few months later, went in for a 20-week ultrasound, and my wife, they said she was two or three centimeters dilated. At how, at 20? 20 weeks, yeah. So child care really wasn't much of a, I mean, I, had, I couldn't really, job searching was really no more, so I had to be home with my other two. Yeah. Who were fi uh, five and three at the time. And your wife, is she in the hospital, or is she in bed, or? Yeah, she was in the hospital all the way through, uh, I mean, he, he was born at 26 weeks. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to be there for my wife and support. I didn't want to just leave and try to go off to work. So I think selfishly I thought I'd be able to go back to work sooner, but it just wasn't in the cars. So, so how's the baby doing now? Uh, baby's great, honestly. Uh, so you you were kind of you were out of work just taking care of the kids? You know, mow lawns or I helped oh a gosh. neighbor sell a Sprinter van. <laughs> just really? Cash. Just yeah. to get going. Well, good man, man. Unfortunately, we had some, you know, between, you know, you have retirement and savings and all that. It's not, hey, we're blessed, man. A lot of people don't have that, even the ability to do it. So we had to liquidate pretty much everything. But. Dang. You're making me cry here, man. You're, geez. All right. I want to see you hit these old yeah. DCIs, see what happens. Have you ever been fit for a set or anything? I've been in, like, the PGA store and had somebody that you don't. Tinkering halfway, around and stuff. Halfway trust on what they're doing. So. Yeah. Get a good swing. It's homemade and you know it is what it is. What was the last time this grip was changed? Probably 15, no, like 18 years ago. Yeah. Wow. So maybe it, maybe 15 to 18 15 years. 15 year old grip. Oh my gosh, look yeah. how slick that is. Yeah. <laughs> Gets priorities take over, right? Yeah. <laughs> Family, kids. Yeah, man. Grips come last. Yep. So your son, what's so how much does he weigh now? He's really, you know what's crazy is like, when I say they're catching up, they really are. Like he went from. He was born at how, how much? He was he born at 2.5 pounds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He could, He's just fit tiny. In, fit in your hand, yeah. That's a different experience, man. I, it's just humbling, man. I mean, I was, I think I'm really fortunate just to have like some really good people in my life. So, yeah. well, I mean, we were really fortunate, you know, not everybody was like that. So. Yeah. I think from that standpoint, it's just really, I mean, gratitude is just the only, it's the only word you can come up with. So really, uh, really fortunate, really fortunate. Whoa, that's the miss. That's a pretty good miss. <laughs> Most people's miss is shank in the, someone's pool. I mean, I do that too. <laughs> you got that miss too? <laughs> I got that shot down <laughs> and my elbow can't straighten it. Wow. So I had a tendonitis injury when I was 13 in baseball. 
and I sat out for like four months and did inflammatory stuff and all that. Yeah. I woke up one day, my arm was like that. Ooh. And I freaked out with my dad. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought, I thought I was fine, but then like two years later, on the driving range, I was like, oh. So I don't, I have no idea like if that affects, I would imagine it affects like extension through the ball, but yeah, that that left miss tends to come into play. Look at this. Um, don't hit here. The whole Chad didn't do trip. that. That's his buddy did that. Look at that. So lesson learned: don't don't loan your be clubs. cautious who you lend your clubs to. One hundred percent here. <laughs> Chad's got some pop in him for a 20-year-old driver. Yeah, it does good. Yeah. It does good. The sound in that thing. For a guy who, you know, hasn't been out a lot lately, you still, you still got some game. <laughs> so when I do play, because I like the camaraderie and just to, my yeah. wife's always like, why do you drive so far? Why do you, I'm like, because. Because <laughs> it's golf. Chad, if you're willing, here, here's what I want to do. I want to take you and get you like a full bag fitting and for part of this video, just to see kind of the difference of what happens from like a super old set to mm -hmm. something modern. And then at the end of the day, we'll get you a, a new driver out of the deal. So we'll fit you for everything and you get a new, new PXG driver. <laughs> How does that deal sound? Uh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah? That's awesome. All right, let's do it. Let's go yeah, get, uh, let's head over and get you all fit up and see what, see what happens. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. There he is. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm ready to roll. You've never been fit? Nothing. No. We're going to rock and roll Certainly this. not like this. All right. <laughs> well, we want to see the difference between this and like, you know, properly fit clubs, new stuff do for you. And then at the end of the, end of the day, get a new driver. At least your drives will be a lot better. Sounds great. Yeah, Hopefully. Man. No objection. Let's do it. No objection. Hey, how are we doing today? Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. What's going on? What's up, how brother? Doing, Matt? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> hey, All right. <laughs> He's got, man, that's a classic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 906, steelhead number three. Oh, yeah, geez, before, like, this is know. like going back in time. <laughs> now, no pressure, but there's three people watching and a camera. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's getting a new driver. Look at this old thing. This is what we're up, what he thinks we're only upgrading. Don't forget, we're upgrading his whole bag. He just thinks it's this guy, which he doesn't hit half bad. And not only is he getting a full bag, we've got some other surprises in store for him as well. Coming up real soon. When Chad and his wife found out they were having their third child, they couldn't be happier. But soon things would get complicated. Michelle was in the hospital for three and a half weeks prior to the premature birth of their third child, Ethan, who was born at 26 weeks and one day old. Weighing just two and a half pounds, he had to spend the next 90 days in the NICU. So Michelle was in the hospital every day with Ethan and Chad would take care of his other two kids as well as Michelle and Ethan. So for a long time, they lived without any income at all. And after months, things started looking good. Ethan grew and he became strong enough to finally go home. The only downside is when you get home, the bills are there waiting for you. What I found incredible about Chad, his family and their story is that regardless of the financial burden, they've always found a way to enjoy the time and the moments that they have. All right, Matt is, you're the best fitter. Oh, thank you. You did such a great job. What was the biggest takeaway from the, from the fitting that you got? Uh, I think the biggest takeaway was really just, there was no argument that the technology, I mean, particularly with the iron, seeing the difference <laughs> of uh, the strike was a lot more consistent. I, I strike my irons pretty good, but it was emphatically better. Um, it wasn't even close, and you could see it in the dispersion. What did we get with the iron? What did we pick up? About 20 yards of carry distance. <laughs> Easily 20 yards of carry. Cool, cool. 
All right, so that's the fitting process. Yep. What, what, what could we expect for a turnaround with that driver? Uh, just a little less than two weeks, about a week and a half. We'll see you back here. That's awesome. Look forward to it. Enjoyed thank that a lot. Much. Yeah, thank you. Good stuff. Thanks, Matt. See you in a couple weeks. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we have all of Chad's gear. Kate is helping uh, set this up so we can, like, get it ready. Remember, he thinks he's just getting a driver, but we got everything for this guy. Oh my God. All right. We got the um, battle ready. This is the putter we got for him. Oh man, this is nice. Look at that. These are pretty. Matt, what are these? This is Gen 6 0317T, brand new. These are the brand new ones. Mm -hmm. 0317T Gen 6. Oh my gosh. Sugar Daddy Wedge. Oh, with the full face grooves. I like these, the wedges, I mean, this is, this is what he believes he's getting. 0311, 0311, Gen 6 driver. These are pretty amazing. Beat your title list. It did beat my title list. <laughs> it's really good. He thinks he's coming in for a driver. So we're gonna set this kind of over here. The, so he only sees that, but off to the side is gonna be everything. doesn't have the extremes. How awesome is PXG? They even included a dozen golf balls, PXG extreme balls. Oh my gosh. Put these in his bag here. Those, in this year. those are, so yeah. Hot, man. I know. Hot. So this, with the driver, is Chad's setup. Got everybody. Oh, that's my wife, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hello. I'm Matt. Matt. That's Matt. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> All right, who, Matt. who do we have here? Right, this is Everett. Hey, Everett. Everly. 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 Everett. Everly. Everett, Everly. And Ethan. And Ethan. Yep. He's I the little guy it. that was uh, super early. Yes. This is our preview. I lost Look at that kid. You did? <laughs> All right. We won't keep you too long. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for coming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's good exactly. to see you. Good to meet everybody that, um, you know, it's part of the journey. Well, Chad, um, PXG wanted to take care of you. Thanks for being a part of the video. Here's your new driver that you got fit for. Ooh, that's pretty. So nice and shiny. This is the last time it'll look like that. <laughs> we need you, um, yeah, we need you to start hitting more fairways. And we just felt like it was, a, it was time for an upgrade. What do you think? It looks good. Mrs. Chad over there, what do you think? Yeah, you approve? Great. Everly, what do you think? I th something's missing though. Why, why don't we do this? Cause like this looks great, but like maybe we could do something here. Why don't we do this? You look good. No, you we look good. Here, look good. Why don't you go pick out a, a polo? Why don't you get yourself a hat and a bottom, okay. and then we can upgrade the look to go with the club. That, That's a, that sound good? Like a good yeah. point. All right, go. Let's go do that. <laughs> Ethan, there's no spitting on the green, okay, my man? You're not supposed to do that. Did, didn't anybody tell you that? Okay, here you go. No, no spitting on the green. There you go. <laughs> well, look who the cat drug in. Yeah, man. My man, you look sharp. Like a new human being. This is a new line this year. It's not, uh, we just wanted you to look, look gray. We didn't do the full, you know. So now, now you're gonna hit it in the fairway and you're gonna look great We're while you do it. Doing it. And, uh, Something's off though. <sighs> Matt, th his, th this driver does not look good in this bag. I think this doesn't match anything else All right. in here. Get rid of this. All right. This looks better than this. Here we go. This looks better. So this is everything you were fit for the other day. The full bag. There. Now this driver goes in this bag, and it goes with you. So we got the full deal, custom fit. 
everything here. They got a dozen balls in here. You got the outfit, you got the full deal. You've been a good man, you've taken care of your family, and uh, PXG wanted to take care of you. Thanks, man. Thank you. And, um, and we, you know, Mrs. Chad, get over here. Um, our, our, my, my subscribers to the channel have been super loyal. And um, so on behalf of uh, all of the Mr. Short Game, uh, you know, supporters, they want to leave the family out of everything. So we, we, they all rallied together. This is for you. We won't say what it is. So Uncle Sam has no idea, but um, for the family. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for being a good man. Thanks for taking care of your family. And uh, our pleasure. Enjoy, uh, enjoy everything. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm even not that really. <laughs> I don't have any words. I really don't. I really don't. Well, we couldn't just do a driver. They look too good, honestly.